Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Triangle Strategy, going into Chapter 8. Once again, we are moving into some new stuff. So, Chapter 6 and Chapter 7 was the first demo of the game that we played, so we got to see those ones quite a long time ago. And uh, we just finished up that material, so pretty everything from here on out is completely new and completely blind for me. So, I've been waiting all week to play this, man. Oh, man. I, for the last couple of days, I've had so many things at work that, like, has stopped me from being able to play this, and it's been really sad. But I actually have a couple of days all to myself here where I'm probably just going to be playing a shit ton of triangle strategy, and I'm very excited about it. All right, Chapter 8. I'm having a blast with this game. How about the rest of you? Um, I am curious to know what you guys think of the game. Um, okay, we are 16 hours in at this point, going into Chapter 8. Oh yeah, we're technically not quite done with Chapter 8. I think that all we have to do is um, a couple of side stories and continue the story a little bit here, and then we'll be done. Um, but let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to start here at the Tellior Streets. Tidings of House Volfort's triumph against all odds and survival of Prince Roland come in on the wings of a bird. I wonder if that's going to change this guy's mind. Now this is an interesting place. I mean, if you look at it on the map, there's almost like a lake in some mountains that feed into this river. Very strange. Like, what is feeding this little lake that's protruding up here? Anyway, let's go. <laughs> we don't need to get into the, you know, geography. <laughs> Tell your domain. House Warfort triumphed? Damn right. Yes, my lord. You're going to stop the being a coward now? The has already withdrawn to the Crown City. That said, it would seem the Wolffort army suffered significant casualties. Did it now? It is not Did as it? if I entirely failed to consider the no, possibility <laughs> of an Esfrasi defeat. I guess, uh, I guess there's implied, it's implied that uh, there were battles throughout the city, so um, it stands to reason that people would have died. And yet... It is hardly an ideal development. <laughs> Whatever are we to do now? Wolfort may have won the battle, but can they win the war? That last battle was hard fought. Hmm. My lord? Ready a bird. I have a missive that needs sending. As you command. Now, in the original demo, we were able to kind of corner of Laura and kind of like got her stuck in a single square and we were able to beat on her. But I get the feeling that um, the demo was actually easier. I think F. Laura got a huge buff um, in the final release of the game. I can't remember if I played the demo on a hard mode or not. Um, either way, it feels like, especially with how big of an HP pool she had and how much damage she was capable of doing, like I'm pretty sure that the only like viable way out of that fight may have been what we did, um, capturing her inside of one of those traps. But who knows, maybe maybe, uh, maybe if I review that strategy from the original demo, maybe uh, what I did there was also viable. I just remember that we uh, surrounded her on all four sides, and then we were able to just beat her up slowly. And that's how we got did it the first time. But I don't know, I feel like she was way more powerful this time around. Um, okay, Falk Streets. Tidings of House Volfort's triumph against all odds and the survival of Prince Roland come in on the wings of a bird. I bring good news, my lord. Kinda want this guy to join us. As Frost Army marched on Castle Walford in an attempt to seize the prince, but they were roundly defeated by House Wolford's forces and retreat to the Crown City as we speak. Joyous tidings indeed. I knew the Wolfords wouldn't let us down. I'm also pleased to report that Prince Roland is unscathed. It would seem young Sarah Noah is more than capable of carrying on Lord Simon's legacy. Triumph as they did, they still suffered considerable casualties in the battle. It is more than likely that Esfrost is already preparing for a second attack. Very well. Take stock of our own forces and determine how many men we can send to House oh, Wolfers aid while ass. retaining enough for our own protection. God, he's awesome. Yes, my lord. 
I wonder... It's time to take a stand. If the three high houses come together as one, I am certain we will prevail. I do wonder if, uh, if, uh, Gustadolf is gonna get wind of that and take advantage of the fact that, uh, his domain is gonna be a little bit weaker for sending men our way. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can keep this guy and his people okay. So what, what is this? Okay, Citadel of the Sands is separate from the main city of Hyzant. Sorcely End, uh, Hyzant's Minister of Salt, ponders House Wolfwart's improbable victory and the implications it carries for his own nation. Yeah, how is he going to spin this to his own favor? Clearly he's, uh, he's plotting. To do what? I guess we have to wait and find out. To be quite frank, I underestimated House Wolfort's strength. To think they were capable of driving off the S Frosty army forces like that. I suspect the outcome came as a surprise to the Archduke as well. And yet, something tells me Wolfort's victory is more than a fluke. I shall keep that in mind. Still. This development is to our advantage. This will only make it easier to carry out our plans. Just so, Your Excellency. Everything is proceeding as you anticipated. Yes. We shall have our way. It is but a matter of time. And we know this guy doesn't get along with, um... One of the other of the Saintly Seven. I'm blanking on his name. I can see his portrait, but I can't remember his name at the, off the top of my head right now. But we know that those two don't necessarily get along. So I wonder if maybe uh, he's plotting something that will give him more power over that guy. Um, okay, so I think it's time for us to move forward. Now, uh, I do remember that we did get another... Uh, metal, um, the ones that allow us to rank up, so we'll have to consider who we're gonna use that on fairly soon as well. But let's go ahead and uh, continue the story, and uh, I believe that we'll be moving into chapter 8 here pretty soon. I shall see to the wounded. Thank you, Gila. I will help as well. My hawk can assist with clearing the rubble. My thanks to you both. Your aid is most welcome. I am ready. Go safely, Anna, and give my best to the others. We take a risk in entreating a powerful nation for aid. I need you to determine to what extent we can rely on them. Ooh, is she going to spy on Isaac? At all. Interesting. Leave it to me. I've sent Anna to the holy state of Hyzant. Our alliance may not be what it once was, but we must seek help wherever it may be found. In a perfect world, we would be able to count on the cooperation of our neighbors here. Indeed, unity within Glenbrook is of the utmost priority, especially now that we've ensured Prince Roland's safety. And yet, we cannot count on houses Tellior and Falks to act in our best interests. We must prepare ourselves for every contingency. You are right as always, Benedict. We've taken the first step down our chosen path, but there is no telling what awaits us. You have a moment, your highness. He's got to be in a oh, dark place. It's you. As silly as it may sound, I've never truly understood what it meant to be royalty. Does my life carry more weight simply because of the blood in my veins? So much so that the lives of others must be sacrificed in my name? You need not worry about that, Roland. 
Lord Wolford speaks true. The scales of conviction guided us, but this decision was ours. We have chosen to walk this path with you. I was born the second prince. No one expected great things of me. He never expected to have to lead. And yet, simply because I had the good luck to survive, my very existence now necessitates all these sacrifices. If I may be so bold, it was not luck, your highness. We protected you. <laughs> Survivor's guilt is a hell of a thing, huh? I know this, of course. That's what makes this so hard. You all fought and continue to fight for me. And I can scarcely take care of myself. I need to become stronger. I must. For my own sake and for yours. Not a word, my friend. Completed. Chapter 8 is done. Chapter 7, I suppose. Now we're going into Chapter 8. House Wolford prevails against General Avlora's army and drives them out of Glenbrook. Though victorious, Roland sobs quietly, saddened by the sacrifices made in his name. Glenbrook is powerless, but knows they must keep the royal bloodline alive. Thus, the conspiracies and power struggles around the noble blood in Roland's veins continue to stain the land crimson. Part one, the weather vein. Okay. The Hierophant's Palace. The Saintly Seven convene at the Hierophant's Palace where their individual motives start to come to light. This should be illuminating. So it appears the duchy intends to capture Glenbrook. But Prince Roland slipped from their grasp and fled to Wolfort. The ink on the treaty is barely dried, and they're already declaring war. And what's more, there's a price on Prince Roland's head. It has spurred the masses in the movement. They will bear their fangs at us in time. We cannot leave them to their own devices. I see this as a wonderful opportunity. We can make it clear how we stand after the Salt Iron War. Aye. And I much prefer to extinguish embers than a raging inferno. Sounds like you intend to start a war. Calm yourselves. There is no need to get so worked up over this. It is true that this grave matter may one day affect Hyzant. But it is in times like these that we must trust the Hierophant's words more than ever. Who's the hooded saint? Have we seen that person speak at all? I don't know if we have. Okay. Serenoa struggles with the news of his father's collapse and an unexpected visitor arrives to speak with the new lord. Father, please open your eyes. There is so much I wish to ask you. Lord Serenoa. I cannot let Father hear how weak I've become. I must be strong. Lord Serenoa, Master Benedict, you have a visitor. Who is it? Lord Silvio Tellior. He wishes for an audience with Lord Serenoa. Mm, I don't trust it. What 
business would the Lord of House Telior have with me? I don't trust him. I don't. Tell him we will be there shortly. Yes, sir. He's here on behalf of Gustadolf. Every day is busier than the last. We haven't had a moment to catch our breath. You are doing a fine job as head of House Wolfort, Lord Serenoa. Your father would be proud if he could see you now. I could not do it without you, Benedict. Thank you. After hearing Silvio's proposal, Saranoa is faced with a difficult decision. In short, you wish for the three high houses to join hands and fight the duchy. Is that correct, Lord Silvio? Indeed. I believe it our duty to fight. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. Dude's a coward. Some are frozen in fear, trembling at the mere thought of the Duchy's power. I feel that joining the three high houses under a single flag is the only way to unite them. My men ready themselves for war as we speak. Come to Telior, and we can strike at Esros together. <laughs> there it is. Prince Roland will be safe with us, of course. There it is. Okay. I was waiting to figure out what the plan was. He wants us to go to Telior. Yeah, no, it's a trap. It's as good a plan as any. You have my thanks for getting the preparations underway. I suppose they don't have a reason to suspect I wonder him, if though, Lord Landroy would agree. I doubt House Falks would refuse a fight. Their devotion to the crown knows no bounds. But of course, they reaped great rewards from the bountiful lands won during the war. That was passive aggressive, wasn't it? You propose it? reuniting the three high houses who led the Salt Iron War to its end. It is heartening to know you would once again lend us your strength. We certainly could use all the help we can get, though I wish we could resolve matters peacefully. You speak as though your brother is not at fault for all this. My bride to be bears no blame for the Duchy's actions. Yeah, so stay your mouth, fool. Uh, my apologies. Forgive me for my outburst. But we haven't much time. I would have your answer now. Shall we accept Lord Silvio's proposal, my lord? No, they should all meet here. That's the only smart thing to do. Why would we travel all the way across there? Touch the scales, Benedict. We shall decide our path together. Like, why would we travel all the way over there? That makes no sense. The only thing that makes sense is having them all meet us here. Lord Silvio made the journey to our domain to offer us an alliance. I would know what the others think on the matter. See, now, like, we're in such an interesting spot in the story because we've been able to see little bits and pieces of Silvio. Um... And we kind of know that he's somewhat of a coward and, like, has there's a high likelihood he has turned on us. Mm. But, like, the people here don't necessarily know that. So, even if we make this decision not to ally ourselves with Silvio, um, that may be frowned upon in, in, amongst the group. Okay, so... Um... Looks like uh, Dragan, Anna, and uh, Roland all want to accept Silvio's proposal. Okay. Um, we are going to talk to everybody. Let's start by talking to the people that we uh, agree with. Uh, the people that we... You know, I'm not convinced that we shouldn't accept Silvio's proposal, but knowing what we know, I think that it's the smart thing to do to reject it. Do you truly think allying ourselves with House Tellier would stop the spread of the war? I... It makes me wonder if it would only be pouring oil on the fire. Hmm. 
What do you need? I hear that the Teleor domain is known for its wine, not warriors. It makes me wonder if it is truly necessary for us to join forces at a time like this. I would have no qualms if Lord Silvio were a man of upstanding character, but the rumors I hear only speak to the contrary. Ain't that the truth. I wonder if it's like a misdirect, though. Like, what if uh, accepting is... Like, what if it's not a trap, you know? Like... <laughs> My goodness. Lord Saranoa. Our soldiers are exhausted after our last battle with Esfrost. I know we need all the help we can get, but even so, I cannot find it in me to trust House Telior. Yeah, me neither. Me neither, Hewitt. Okay. Saranoa. To say I have no doubts about Lord Silvia would be a lie. Even so, we are in sore need of allies. If the three high houses stand together, we may be able to turn the tides of war in our favor. I almost wish that the choice wasn't so much accept or reject, so much as it was, hey, let's meet here instead, just to see what Silvio would do based on that proposal. Like, it would, I, I feel like it would make more sense to have Silvio and to have House Falks meet us here for the battle. You don't go to a third location. You don't. If the three high houses stand together, we may be able to turn the tides of war in our favor. Um, honestly, I hate to do this to you, Roland, but it would be best for us to refuse Lord Silvio's proposal in this case. Negotiating may yet prove fr fruitful. Okay. My belief is also to be one worth considering, but if you have any reservations on the matter, I would hear them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, this seems like a good argument. We'll see if uh, he agrees. Just because this is the unlocked one that we got from unlocking certain dialogues doesn't mean it's the one that will actually convince him, but... Yeah. This one might honestly be the best one that makes the most sense. Rather than, like, casting aspersions on a guy that he may trust to some degree, I wonder if this is the better option. There are people out there who will stop at nothing to see you dead. I think it unwise to leave the Domain at this time. I suppose. So you think Esfrost might strike after we leave Wolfort, when we have no safe haven to defend ourselves? Correct. There's a lot of land in between these two domains right now. I suppose you have a point, my friend. The Tellior Domain is closer to the Duchy than we are, after all. Yeah, a lot closer. Roland is deep in thought. That seemed like it was somewhat successful. The High Houses are sworn to protect the Crown, yet Lord Silvio couldn't be bothered to leave Tellior when the capital was in danger. Yeah. Here's what I think. I can't help but wonder what he's scheming, but if he wants to join forces, I see no reason to refuse him. Because he's scheming, it would be best for us to refuse. I say we join forces with House Tellior. More of us, the better. But I can see you don't quite agree, lad. Okay, a bounty. A rematch from Evlora. That's an interesting one. Leaving our domain may alert them to an alliance and put us in even more danger. A heavy bounty weighs upon Roland's head. We do not know who we can or cannot trust now. You're onto something. No denying that, lad. There's no telling what sort of shady fellows are lurking about, looking to line their pockets with the prince's demise. Even if we could trust Lord Silvio, there's no guarantee his soldiers wouldn't try to get their hands on his highness. In fact, this is just what Esfrost might have been hoping for with that bounty. It's such a bad idea for us to leave. It just truly is. Tough spot. In any case, my lord, it looks like you've got something else on your mind. Could it be you've got some suspicions of Lord Sylvia? Ooh, that's interesting. If he feared... Yeah, because he's such a coward. Like, speaking to his cowardice right there on that first one. Yeah, venturing to tell you is such a bad idea. This is kind of the same as the first one, in a lot of ways.
but this one speaks a little bit more directly to it, I feel like. Lord Silvio left the safety of his own domain to come here. Something I doubt he would do if he feared an attack from the duchy. Uh, uh, fair point. No matter how quietly they snuck about, there's still a chance they'd be seen by Esfrost. And there's no way a coward like Lord Silvio would take such a risk. Just makes sense. You've got good cause for concern, lad. That one seemed to have gone fairly well as well. Lord Serenoa. Everyone has their suspicions over Lord Silvio's offer, but I think we can guess his true intentions easily enough. Whatever House Tellior's aim might be, I am certain we can use it to our advantage. It would be best for us to refuse. Is there something on your mind, my lord? If you have any doubts or concerns, pray let them be known. Don't really want to talk to their merit, because any help is still help. Hmm. The duchy has placed a heavy bounty upon Roland's head. Perhaps what Lord Silvio came here for is not an alliance, but... To seize Prince Roland? Hmm. I will... Interesting indeed. I will not deny the possibility. If we think of Esfrost's actions of late, it would not surprise me if they had already uh, brought House Tellior to heal in secret. However, we cannot ignore the fact that the strength of our forces pales in comparison to that of Esfrost's. So... Are you not concerned about the size of our own army, Lord Saranoa? Ooh, there's something we haven't unlocked. I've been pretty, uh... Pretty robust about making sure to talk to people. I think at best we ready our own forces before recklessly looking to others for help. Hmm. But of course, our forces were dealt a heavy blow during our last bout with Esfrost. Perhaps it is best to wait until the soldiers have recovered. We may risk en endangering ourselves if we agree to Lord Silvio's plan, without a ready force behind us. Okay, he's been moved. Oh, I wonder if we should have gone out. I didn't realize we could go out for this. Maybe that's why we didn't unlock what we needed to here. I'll bet you that's what it is. The Lord of House Tellior came all this way to ask for an alliance, but just between you and me, it wouldn't be of much help in battle. House Tellior is indeed not known for their prowess on the battlefield, but I do not know if we have the luxury of choosing our allies now. Yeah, yeah, we should have come out here and talked to people first. That's okay. Um, if we have to reload, then we can we can do this properly. We may not have our houses, but we still have our lives. For that, I must be grateful. Although I admit I'm as prone to any of despairing these days, not knowing when I'll be able to open up shop again. A rear guard's cloak. Huh. I bet you that protects you from uh, back attacks to some degree. Oh dear, how could this happen? And at a time like this? Is something the matter? Whatever it is, I would be happy to help. Well, you see, my daughter and her husband got into a fight and decided to go their separate ways. But I fear for what will happen to their poor son. I don't know what I should do. Okay. I don't like this one because sometimes recon reconciliation between two people isn't the right thing to do. And uh, I don't feel comfortable saying that, not knowing the situation. Now I fear there is aught you can do. The issue is between the two of them and must be resolved as such. I suppose you're right. I might just make things worse if I stick my nose where it doesn't belong. In the end, it might be for the best that they give each other some space. Thank you, Lord Saranoa. I feel so much better now that we've spoken. I apologize for burdening you with my family's troubles, especially at a time like this. You needn't apologize. No family is perfect. My house burned down, but my friend let me borrow her doll. 
Did I see a shiny over? Yep, it's down in that corner. <laughs> Quality fiber. Cool. Thanks to you, we managed to survive the battle. Though the town wasn't so fortunate. I'll take some- t it'll take some time before she's back to her former glory, but she'll get there so long as we work together. My house is okay, but one of the others burned down. They looked real sad, so I let them borrow my doll. It always helped me feel better when I'm sad, too. You're a good friend. Nice, two of them. And large at that. Say hello to the cat, of course. is gone. If only I'd known sooner, I could have grabbed my precious mementos. You could rebuild a house, but those keepsakes are gone forever. Lord Saranoa, you drove back the Esfrosi forces with such splendor. I expected no less of House Wolfort. Have you heard of how the other houses are faring? To tell the truth, my family lives in the Teliore Domain. They say that Lord Silvio is not a man of the military arts, and fear what should happen for Esfros to invade. If worse comes to worse, your family is always welcome in Volfort. But Lord Silvio leads one of the three high houses, and would do whatever it took to protect his domain. Thank you. You are most gracious, Lord Saranoa. Hearing you say that puts my mind at ease. I only wish House Tellier were so reliable. I shall let my family know what you have told me and invite them here to Wolfort. To say I'm disappointed in Lord Silvio would be an understatement. He safeguarded himself in Tellior as Gustav invaded the Crown City. Some say it was his duty as Lord to stay and protect his people and domain, but what of his duty to the Crown? I suppose we shouldn't be looking to Lord Silvio for any semblance of loyalty. I wish I could do more for the townsfolk who lost their homes, but us soldiers are hardly in any condition to help. We have our hands full aiding the injured and making sure everyone is fed. I dread to think what would happen if the fighting were to continue much longer. My people are suffering after a battle on our own soil. I doubt we would be able to face another attack from Esfrost alone. Enchanting Spice. Is that one of those buff or debuff items? I think it might be. The consumable ones. Okay. Yes, sir. We must be prepared for any who would march against us, but our forces are lacking in both number and supplies. House Tellior's motives matter not. We could use even those against them, should the need arise. It would be best for us to refuse, Anna. Lord Zeranoa, I believe we must use every tool available to, to us if we are to survive. We would leave ourselves fairly vulnerable by venturing outside our domain. Quite true, if we were met by the Esfrosti forces outside the castle, we could neither drive them back nor retreat. In that case... Even so, I do not think we could stay holed up in Castle Volfort forever. Yeah, that makes sense. It's not a very good argument. I agree, we can't stay here forever, but we should amass our forces here rather than going to Tellior. Going to Tellior is such a stupid plan. <laughs> okay. Let's see how this goes. I don't know if we did it, to be honest with you. Commence voting. We only need to convince one. It is time to cast our votes. I think we may have gotten uh, Benedict, at the very least. Do we accept House Tellior's proposal, or go our own way? 
Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. I believe in you. I believe you were right, my friend. Okay, I think we got it then. You make a convincing argument, I my lord. I cast my token in with yours, my lord. My apologies. I must follow my instincts, my lord. Hey, you do what you gotta do. Not sure if we got Eredor or not. Forgive me, lad. Sorry, lad. Just can't fight it in me to agree this time. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. All right, we're going to reject. The way forward is decided. We deny House Tellior's proposal and weather this fight alone. I think the choice that we were presented was um, flawed from the start. Like I said, we should have proposed that people amass here instead of actually just turning you would them stand down. idly by while our kingdom is in grave danger. This is the path we have chosen. I hope you understand. I do not. You must reconsider, or else House Teleor too will face Esfros wrath. And why would that be <laughs> our concern? <laughs> we are in no condition to fight, Lord Silvio. It is as simple as that. Then I pray something more than death awaits us both. We may not know if that was actually a trap or not. The weather vane has been completed. We're going into part two, it looks like. So this is where we're going to end this episode. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Seventh Son, Louis D, Ivan K, Len, HLLJ, and Jordan and Emily Hill. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.